Hello, welcome to Creative Intuition Tarot. My name is MJ and I am delighted to have you here. Before we start, there is just one thing that I want to bring to your attention. And that is, my intention here is not to predict your future. If we could do that, it would mean that our future is predetermined. Please remember that your future depends on you, your choices and decisions, your desires and dreams. Tarot is not about predicting the future. To me, it's about designing and manifesting the life that we crave. The only moment we truly have in life is right here and now. Tarot reading may be set in time. It may refer to a month, a day, a year or a season. But its intention is to inspire and guide us in the present moment so that we can create the future that we dream of. With that said, let us begin and enjoy your reading. Hi Libra, how are you doing? Welcome to your April 2022 reading. Uh, Libra, today we will be doing a solar system spread, so just like the sun is in the center of our solar system, you are in the center of our attention in this reading, so the card in the center of the spread represents you, or the main energy, and then the cards uh, surrounding will represent the energies revolving around you in the month of April, so they can represent um, your thoughts, feelings, situations, people. Uh, remember that you know your situation best, right? So listen with an open mind and Libra, don't be afraid to interpret the messages your own way. If, if your interpretation is different than mine, that is fine because you know your situation best, okay? You are showing up as the Ten of Wands. So there's some kind of burden, something is heavy uh, on, on you. You have... Uh, the King of Wands. You have the Knight of Swords. The Five of Wands. And the Fool. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> very interesting and the three of coins uh underneath so two two cards with number three and you know those cards in particular three of cups can represent celebration spending time uh among your loved ones friends family just support circle of some kind um a community that you feel good at a, a place where you have fun like-minded people okay uh, but, but it represents a group and then the three of coins can also represent cooperation, okay? So for some of you, it may be about cooperating, it may be about some kind of community, perhaps even re can represent family. But for some of you, it can mean a third party situation, okay? So for some of you, it may mean that, that there is some kind of a connection um, that is happening in your life, uh, but one of you is perhaps in a committed relationship in marriage okay so take that as it resonates for you um the ten of wands in the center i said represents some kind of a burden something heavy uh, on your back but 10 is always a number of completions and new beginnings so there is a potential to start afresh and that new beginning is uh is actually coming up in your reading uh a couple times because First, the 10 that brings that, that potential or the opportunity uh, to, to finish something, close out on something and, and uh, enter a new phase. Then you have the full and also underneath those two cards, you have the Ace of Wands as well. So 10 of Wands and Ace of Wands, right? So, so there is a potential for, um, for something new. But what is the key? Uh, to that new opening is that you need to make the choice, right? It depends on you if you carry those 10 ones and then it keeps you stuck because it's really very hard to carry um, that, that heavy um, load. Um, or you make that choice uh, which of those ones you want to take with you and which you have to leave behind. That's why sometimes this card is called the burden of choice because it may not be easy to choose, right? Uh, we often want to keep all of them. They can represent people, 
So if it's that third party situation, perhaps they can represent responsibilities, tasks, um, projects, uh, places that we try to, you know, to be at at the same time, like the energy that we give engaging into too many um, projects or tasks at the same time, right? So it's your choice which of those ones you choose and, and that's why I feel for some of you you are choosing that person that you want to invest yourself in in the future from that third party situation right right so uh, the burden of choice because it's not easy and very interestingly she's carrying a child on her back so again uh, there may be there may be children involved. Perhaps you are in a committed relationship where children are involved, but there's someone else uh, who's lighting up your fire, right? Uh, and, and that's why the choice may be, may be a burden. It may be tough. Okay. Mm, very interesting also is that the, the King of Wands carries that one wand and then you have the Ace of Wands. So definitely... You are able to make that choice. You have with the energy of the king, which is masculine energy of taking action, of being decisive, uh, taking like executive decisions, right? You have the skills, the talents, the the, um, the resources on intellectual level, emotional, spiritual for some of you, or creative, artistic, to choose the right wand, the one that, that is going to bring you fulfillment, happiness, uh, success as well because you have the six of wands right here so you are able to make that choice even though I said it's the burden of choice you have everything you need and I feel you have all the information you need to make the right choice the only thing that that is um, I, I don't want to say lacking but for some reason this this word came to my mind is your action towards making that choice I think that you already know which choice is the right one it's just about you know the way this king is looking into um a different direction it's like perhaps some kind of avoidance maybe it's really a burden of choice for you okay uh, maybe you still need time maybe you're assessing budgeting those resources of yours planning uh, maybe you're still trying to tune into what is it that you truly desire okay maybe it's about opening up maybe it's about gathering courage okay so it will be different for everyone but um but for some reason i feel you, you may be avoiding making that choice or just taking a little more time now with um the knight of swords that's exactly the courage that that you're gathering i feel you know the knight of swords is is the energy of rushing in um, with communication, demanding communication, demanding clarity, demanding truth. And you know what? This, this may be someone coming your way and demanding. Someone trying to confront you and you looking into the other direction, like avoiding that confrontation. Like there's, there's truth, there's a conversation that is needed, some kind of an exchange of th thoughts. Uh, maybe finally revealing your truth to someone, uh, but still there is, for some reason, there's this energy of avoidance, okay, of looking into another direction. And hiding. The Five of Wands is not typically a card of hiding, absolutely not. It's, it's a card of competition, it can be like a job interview. Perhaps the decision that you're making is around business, finances, uh, or your career. Um, but in this particular deck, she's hiding almost in like a tent. Those ones representing perhaps her passions, ideas, desires, uh, are almost acting as a shield. And, and she's hiding inside, not expressing... Her desires on the outside does that make sense um, that's why this avoidance hiding and again the energy of wants the the whole row in the center is about wants so there's deep desire 
There's a lot of fire in your reading. There's deep desire. It can be love. It can also be sexual. But, but I'm not getting a sexual energy in a bad way. But it can be physical desire. Um, very passionate. Very fiery. But for some reason there's this, this avoidance and hiding. Almost like suppressing it inside. Okay. The fool in this particular case, I feel Libra, is showing up to tell you that there will always be unknowns. There will always be something that, that you are not able to predict. The thing is uh, that you need to take the leap of faith if you want to move towards a new beginning, a new phase of life, move towards the fulfillment of your dreams, desires, um, creative ideas, you name it, right? Uh, the, the fool is the risk taker. And he's not afraid to announce to the whole world, I'm taking that risk, okay? I'm taking that leap of faith because I am approaching it as an adventure, a beautiful adventure. And you know what? Even though he's not carrying the wand, probably in this deck, it's more like, like a tree of some kind. But the way his hand is here, it made me think of carrying a wand. It's like this fool has made the choice which wand he chooses. Right? Which one he takes with him on that new adventure. So I think the fool here is just the word of encouragement. Your new beginning is possible. Fulfillment and happiness is possible. But you need to stop avoiding. And instead you need to take action to take that leap of faith. Perhaps risk something. Uh, but as they say, no risk, no fun. Um, I feel it's worth it. And you know what? I, I don't want to be... Uh, misunderstood because if it is related to a third party situation whether it's you or that other person um, in some kind of a relationship and, and especially if there are children involved I do understand it requires time and I'm not trying to encourage you uh, to ruin anyone's life including yours right uh, you need to take time to assess strategize wisely as the king would do uh, but you know, the paths of life are unpredictable and sometimes our happiness lies outside of, you know, that safe spot that we have created, that perhaps comfortable spot, but one that is not necessarily bringing you fulfillment and happiness. Sometimes there's a need to change something and you have the number five in the five of ones, which is the number of change. And also sometimes we need to close something uh, up with number 10 to start something with the zero, with the full, and number one, with the ace. So I really hope that makes sense. Um, when I look at those two cards, you know, perhaps there is additional message for you under 33 in numerology. You may want to check that out as well. But three and three sum up to six, and that is the number of the lovers card in the tarot. And lovers is about making choices. Choices made from the place of love towards someone, towards the world, and also towards yourself. You need to allow yourself to be happy, Libra. Yes, we are oftentimes responsible for others in our life. Again, as I said, especially if there are children. But you are also responsible for your happiness. And the choices that you make uh, need to take into consideration your happiness and fulfillment as well. Okay. There's definitely celebration available to you with the Three of Cups. Um, happiness is available to you, but it will require work uh, with the Three of Coins. Okay, so even if you make that choice, whatever that choice is, it will require work um, to come to that fulfillment and, and happiness. Okay, making the choice is just the beginning of the journey. Let's close it off for you with some positive affirmations. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, remember, metaphor is the language of tarot. So as I said at the beginning, don't be afraid to interpret the messages your own way. You have the turtle spirit. Your home is inside of you no matter where you are. So being at home means being um, in alignment with ourselves, being in, uh, in tune with ourselves, our truth, our, our authenticity. Uh, the, the king, the, the knight of swords 
can also represent, I said it may be someone trying to confront you, but it's also about you confronting your own truth, right? And aligning with it. You may want to check out the meaning of the turtle spirit. There may be additional message for you as well. Let's take one more card for you, Libra. I move in authentic truth. <laughs> See? Dancing sacred joy upon this earth. There is definitely, definitely something about you coming to alignment with your authenticity, with your truth, with your true desires. What is truly bringing you happiness? What is your factor for happiness and success? You need to answer that question, Libra. Uh, and based on that, take action and move forward towards fulfilling that authentic uh, truth of yours. Okay. Um, I'll leave it there. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. I am wishing you all the best for April uh, and I will be seeing you soon, Libra. Bye.